Hello, dear students. Welcome you all to the seventh lecture of Rural Marketing. And in today's lecture, we are going to cover the topics non agriculture sectors, relation between agriculture and non agriculture sector, role of non agriculture sector in rural development, rural non farm sectors, and need for rural non farm sectors. In previous le lectures, we have learned about agriculture sector and we have seen the various schemes initiated by government of india for the development of agriculture sector and uh, after this lecture and uh, in lecture eight and ninth we will learn what are the various schemes for non-agriculture sectors so first start with this non-agriculture sector let's learn what is non-agriculture sector so <clears throat> agriculture sectors when we were saying it was all related to the farming activities and here when we are talking about non farming activities then we will give the name non agriculture sector let me go to the slide just a second So uh, farm activities means agriculture activities and non-farm activities uh, meaning non-agriculture activities. So according to Sait, an author is there, in 1992 her wrote a paper and he told that, that we can define rural non-farm activities in two ways, okay? So firstly, he, he told that the farms which are locative approach in which the primary criteria is that a rural non-farming activity is performed in a location which falls within a rural area, a particular area. So uh, he told that if a rural non-farming activity is happening in a particular area, that we will say it is a ruler non-farming activity. This is the first approach, which is also known as locative approach. And he himself gave the second approach to define ruler non-farming sectors. So it this approach was based on linkage approach, where an industrial enterprise generates significant development linkage with a ruler area. It means that any uh, non agriculture farm activity, which is contributing to the development of a particular rural area. It is not necessary that it should be a, at a particular location, but it is helping in the development of a particular rural area that will be say, will be <clears throat> considered as rural non-financial activity. Okay, so these were the two uh, uh, we will say uh, ways to define the rural non-farming activities. Uh, so let's say uh, what all are the activities comes under rural non-farming activities. So here I have mentioned that activities uh, like um, I have given here economic activities like household and non-household activities. So what are household and non-household activities? We will learn after a few slides and construction and repairs under this household and non-household it comes. Constructions and repair, mining and quarrying, community and personal services, communication, trade, transport. So all these um, type of activities comes under rural non-financial activities. And these rural non-farm activities plays a very important role in the uh, to provide the supplementary employment to the small and marginal farm household. Why? Because uh, farmers, uh, in yesterday's lecture also I was telling you, uh, farmers uh, do farming only for two and three months. First they make their field ready for uh, the crops, then they sow uh, the seeds, and then it takes almost two to three months to uh, get ready of that crop. So that two to three months period is almost ideal for them. So that time uh, they can do some other work also, okay? So it is an alternate source of, or we can say supplementary employment to the small and marginal farms, farmers. Uh, 
which have very less income and uh, because of that sometimes uh, you, you might have heard about the migration rural to urban migration so these non farm ag or non agriculture sectors can help uh, in those areas also okay next uh, we will see what is the relationship between the non agriculture sector with the agriculture sector okay so when we are saying non agriculture sector it is not uh, just the substitute of agriculture sector but rather it is a complementary to our agriculture sectors both these sectors are so attached with each other that it is not possible to increase the growth of one sector without the improvement of the other sector now let's see how this uh, uh, first we will see that how this agriculture sector um, uh, contribute for your non agriculture sectors so what are the impact of agriculture sector on non agriculture sector so uh, the supply of raw materials like sugar cane jute cotton oil seed tea spices wheat paddy etc consumable goods uh, is provided by the agriculture sector to the non agriculture sectors and it supplies cereals vegetables food items to the industrial um, uh, areas and farmers household used to save their money in the banks and other financial institute which ultimately is used by the industry owners as an investment so and it regularly supply the manpower to the industries that excess uh, manpower which is with agriculture sector they can uh, be go for the non agriculture sector also so supply of labor is also uh, a kind of um, we can say the relationship between agriculture and non agriculture sector now let's see how the impact of non agriculture sectors on agriculture sector is there so Uh, like um, uh, that local manufacturers uh, they develop in terms to create a large and more reliable market for agriculture products so whatever agriculture product is there its a market is being provided by the non agriculture sector apart from this uh, that supplies of scientific tools like equipments harvest stirs tractors pump uh, pumps chemis, uh, chemical fertilizers etc is being provided to agriculture sector from the non agriculture sector and uh, as we already discussed that the finished agriculture good um, uh, uh, goods some infrastructure development like road railway storage <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so through these all things it reaches to the market so non agriculture sector provide the market excess or surplus labor in the agriculture sector can be absorbed by the non agriculture sector uh, so uh, in a nutshell we can say that both agriculture and non agriculture sectors are complementary to each other uh, the op, uh, so uh, we need both uh, that uh, sectors these both sectors go hand by hand so there is a deep relationship between uh, agriculture and non agriculture sector next uh, we will see role of non agriculture sector in the development of uh, rural india or um, this we can say as the importance of ruler non farming sector okay so if in exam this question is coming like what are the importance of ruler non farming sector and role of non agriculture sector in ruler development both are the same thing don't get confused so no non farm sector particularly in the rural area is being accorded wide rec uh, recognition in the recent year because of uh, the reasons like it gen uh, it gives the employment to the um well, people in villages okay and uh, when the economic base of, uh, when the economy base of the rural economy extend beyond the agriculture rural urban economic gaps are bound to get narrow along with salutary effect in the many other aspects associated with the life and appreciation of the people and uh, it bridges we can say that the ruler and urban drive that non agriculture sector and uh, 
rural and industries are generally less capital incentives and more labor absorbing so more number of people get employment in those sectors and um, rural industrialization has significant spin off on agriculture development as well and rural income distribution is much less unequal in the areas where wide network of non farm employment exists so to lower that um, gap uh, this uh, uh, non agriculture sectors uh, help so we can say in a uh, just manner or we can say aggregately it has a check on unrecognition migration means if uh, people will get employment in rural areas only in which they can generate more income so it will stop the migration rural to urban migration and it bridges between rural and urban drive it reduces the inequalities and employment generation obviously is one of the important uh, contribution of non agriculture sector in rural development uh, so rural non farm sectors in first slide also we have seen so these are the activities like mining and quarrying second is household or we can say cottage industries so um, i told you earlier also like uh, um, basket weaving local bakeries handicrafts so in the, in those kind of industries only household or one family is associated with this uh, this um, industry okay so household industry was defined as the industry conducted by the head of the household himself or herself or by the members of household at home only okay within a village rural area so where that uh, kind of industry in which only family members are a part of that industry so examples basket weaving local bakeries handicrafts non household manufacturing uh, also a part uh, also comes under no, uh, rural non farming sector and processing industries also like uh, uh, some kind of uh, processing in uh, villages it is happening uh, that is uh, comes under non farming sector what is the need of rural non farming se sector um, so over the years the economic contribution of agriculture to indian gdp is steadily declining i um, i will present some stats here like in 2015-16 the land holding declined to 1.08 which which was 1.15 hectare in 2010-11 okay so that agriculture sector or we will say and um, that agri sector is declining so um, there is a need to stop migration from rural areas uh, so uh, rural non farming sectors can stop this and uh, next it is observed that 64% of the rural employment is in the agriculture sector while the share of agriculture in rural output is just 39% so 64% people are working Uh, with agriculture sector but output is just 39% so we need to help those um, uh, we can say that uh, manpower so that they can uh, contribute more in the development of the country and uh, reducing the dependency of rural masses on agriculture as a source of income will help improve the overall income of the rural population to improve the income of rural population it is very very necessary that the rural laborers or the rural manpower should go for non farm sector as well so this is all for today's lecture uh, just we will go through what all things we have learned today Uh, so we have uh, seen what are the rural and non agriculture sectors then what is the relationship between agriculture and non agriculture sector then uh, role or we can say importance of non agriculture sector in rural development and what is the need for rural non farm sector so i hope you understood the concept if you have any query you can catch me on your whatsapp group i will solve your query there thank you so much for watching the uh, lecture if you have any confusion please ping me thanks